Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for August 3rd to the 9th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you so much for all my members. I really appreciate all your support. Um, also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, or you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all my information is in the description box below. So we're gonna go over the day to day, then we're gonna do the overall. Remember, weeklies are always day to day and then overall, and then advice. So stick with me till the end, let's jump right in. So we're gonna use three different decks. We're gonna start with this one first. What's going on my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for August 3rd to the 9th? What's going on my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for August 3rd to the 9th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. And this is going to be for your love interest. It's going on my Scorpio's love interest for August 3rd to the 9th. It's going on my Scorpio's love interest for August 3rd to the 9th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, and this is going to be for your oracle here, Scorpio. What's going on, my Scorpio's love interest for August 3rd to the 9th? Scorpio's love interest, excuse me, Scorpio's love life for August 3rd to the 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so it looks like on the 3rd, you're going to have a lucky day here with the dragon card energy. Um, it does like, whoa, there's going to be some reminiscing about the past here with the Six of Cups energy, okay? Or there could be a secret of Meyer with the Six of Cups energy. Or there could be a situation where there, for some of you, could be reconciliation. Um, your, your love interest, the person you're dealing with, is, is decided to take the rings and take charge of the situation because they want to be victorious here with the Chariot card energy. On the fourth, enjoy your day. It's a paradise for you. And it does look like you're going to have the chariot card energy on the fourth. You're going to take charge of things because you want to be victorious here with the chariot card energy. Your love is just the person you're dealing with has the judgment card energy. There are there's there's a healing, there's a reconciliation here with the judgment card energy happening. On the fifth, make wise decisions and wise choices with the wisdom card energy. It does look like you're going to be completely happy here with the Ten of Cups energy. Your love and just the person you're dealing with has the Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, a sense of nurturing and caring kind of energy there on that day. They're nurturing themselves. They're very caring. They're very. Uh, they're uh, also figuring out what do I want on a long-term basis here. On the sixth, for some of you, a potential proposal could be affecting your romantic love life. And we see that there are some things going on with family and long-term commitment. Ah, that's for your love interest, by the way. <laughs> this is yours. There's a sense that uh, someone's not being completely honest here with the Seven of Swords energy, okay? You're having a sense that someone is not being completely honest here. And your love interest has a Ten of Pentacles energy, something to do with family and long-term commitment. On the seventh, marriage could be affecting your romantic love life or marriage uh, marriage for me is almost like contracts and commitments and it does look like wow there's an opportunity for true love here new love here ace of cups energy yeah Scorpio let me know in the uh, comments below that's for the seventh your love and just the person that you're dealing with has the two of swords energy so they're at a bit of crossroads and there's some choices they need to make here on the 8th, travel could be affecting your romantic love life. All right, join the club with that one. <laughs> um, the tower card energy, ooh, shocking changes, shocking events, something surprising happening there with the tower card energy. Yeah, let me know how that plays out for you. Remember what I always say is about the tower card. Car breaking down, sudden event, shocking, surprise, right? Negative, positive, uh, winning the lottery, sudden change, surprise, unexpected, right? So that's the tower card energy. Your love and just the person you're dealing with has justice. So they're having wanting a just choice, a just decision. It's marriage, divorce, a just truth, a just decision. On the ninth, it looks like you're gaining some kind of courage and strength. Yeah, you're you're definitely in charge of things with that Emperor card energy. You are in charge, you're structuring things and organizing things exactly the way you want it. Your love is just the person you're dealing with is trying to gain mental clarity here with the Ace of Swords energy. 
All right, my beautiful Scorpios. Let me uh, clear this out of the way and we're gonna focus on your numerology for this week before we go into the overall. So let me gather up these cards the way they are done here so we can see exactly what's gonna happen here with the numerology for this week. Let me clear these other cards out of the way. Okay, so we see that you have a six card energy. Sixes represent healing and recovery. There's some kind of complete happiness here. There's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing about this new opportunity or an opportunity here with the Ace of Cups energy. Okay, so let's take a look at your overall. So we're gonna use two different decks. This is gonna be the main overall deck. Let's go to my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for August 3rd to the 9th. What's going on my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for August 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going to be going on with Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for August 3rd to the 9th? Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for August 3rd to the 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. All right, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius kind of energy. So it looks like you're in the current, you're being very logical and intelligent here. And remember, kings are always about wisdom, wise, intelligent, uh, intelligent kind of energies going on here. You're using your logic in your romantic love life. And the Clover card shows me that you have luck here, Clover card. So you're using your logic here and there is a lucky energy here with the clover card energy. So luck is on your side. Okay, what's your blockage? Hmm. The blockage is seems to be that you have this energy of feeling stuck and stagnant here. And it's like you're trying to see things from another way and another perspective. And it's been going on for Lily's represents a long time, okay? Or you've been patient because you have this sense of feeling stuck and stagnant here. At the foundation of the matter, there is some kind of heartache going on here, Three of Swords energy. Because of some repetitive nature here with the whip card energy or arguments and disputes here or something around passions with the whip card energy. And in the past, there was this opportunity of passion here, Ace of Wands energy, a renewed opportunity of passion here. And you were trying to gain knowledge about it with the book card energy about this opportunity of passion, renewed passion, okay? At the head of the matter, there's a sense of accomplishment or completion, or for some of you, travel, world, or something that you want to come back around again, the world card energy to complete, be completed. And there's a lot of emotions that play with the fish card energy. In the near future, wow. Look at that. Someone finds you very sexy and attractive here. Queen of Wands energy. And the bear card could be at work, okay? Or they're trying to gain the courage and strength because they find you very, very attractive and sexy. Okay. We see at the head of the matter, there's a lot of emotions at play. You're trying to gain knowledge about the situation or some things are yet to be known about passions or uh, some kind of repetitive things here or hurt or pain about strength and courage. There's a sense of wanting things completed around a passionate energy uh, that's caused some heartache around uh, this passion or the sexy passionate energy, Queen of Rods. Queen of Rods is a patient energy. What do I want passionately here, right? This is the, I feel like I'll, uh, for a lot of you, it's a lot about passion, right? That seems to be the stuck and stagnant energy. Lily's represents a long time. Yeah, because obviously in the past, it was something to do with an opportunity of passion here that you were trying to gain knowledge about and gain courage and strength. And there's a lot of emotions at play here or something to do with money and finance here with the fish card energy in this completion about this, which caused some hurt and pain here or something that was repetitive about it. Okay, let's clarify this. Why is this hangman here? Why is this hangman here for the blockage? Why is this hangman here for the blockage? A potential long-term commitment. Yep, an opportunity, Page of Pent uh, Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress card. I have a sense though that there's something to do with work 
Okay, there could be a long-term commitment here, or potential for a long-term commitment. And there's a sense of, of the stuck, stagnant energy for a long time. Or for some of you, it's to do with um, abundance and uh, an opportunity to take a new path, which is causing something stuck and stagnant in your romantic love life. Okay. Why is the bear card here? What's this bear card about? A defensive energy about something that ended, stopped, or some defensive energy, or there's a test of faith because uh, there's a person, there's something to do with ending something to start something new, death card energy, for a new opportunity of true love, Ace of Cups energy. And it's, it's trying to see things from a new way and a new perspective because there's uh, something that needs to be completed or accomplished here. Okay, um, let's keep going. So the influence is some kind of risk or wanting to take a leap of faith to something new, the full card energy, and having a sense of confusion here with the, the uh, clouds card energy. Confusion about taking a leap of faith, confusion about taking a risk here, confusion about carefree, uh, carefree energy. There's some kind of confusion about this. Okay, obviously in the near future, there's someone who finds you very attractive with the Queen of Rods energy. The bear can be a boss, it could be work, it could be something to do with this person's trying to gain the courage and strength because they find you very attractive. Um, but they're being patient here, okay? Is there attraction, is there not attraction? What should I do with this passion energy here? Queen of Rods energy. Hmm. Okay, because obviously there's a want to gain some kind of knowledge here about it. And there is a want to accomplish some things here because of this flow of emotions or if the fish card can show money and finance there. Okay, so I'm going to lay down the outcome cards, but I want to go over the advice first. Mm, good card at the end of that. That's a really good card. Okay. So obviously you're at a crossroads here, right? You need to make a decision or a compromise here with the two of swords energy. So let's, let's get some more information about this Two of Swords energy here. Why is this Two of Swords here? Why is this Two of Swords here? You're uh, feeling defensive about a choice because uh, you're weighing your options here, Two of Pentacles energy. And there's a sense that something's going to uh, change. There's going to be too, too much sudden change because of something that ends or stops here with the death card energy. All right, you have to make a decision here to a swords energy. Let's, let's go over this outcome. All right, we have house and family. We have the store card energy. And we have the garden card energy. Okay, so it looks like... Um, there's a person that's going to see this from a new way and a new perspective here with the Page of Swords energy pertaining to house and family. So there's new perspectives happening, new ideas or perspectives about house and family. And there's a sense of this defeated energy here. Should I stand up and fight or walk away? But with, there is improvements and change here with the store card energy. And it does look like you have potential here for a long-term commitment, Page of Pentacles. Uh, when it comes to family, this is the Garden Card energy. There's some type of potential here for a long-term commitment pertaining to family or this group of people. Maybe there's some people influencing or you have multiple choices here for some kind of long-term commitment. So obviously you're at a crossroads. Let's clarify what that Garden Card is about. What's this Garden Card about? What's this Garden Card about? All right, again, you have a sense of feeling defensive about your happiness, Ten of Cups energy, and needing to make a choice, Two of Wands energy. What's the Stork card about? What's the Stork card about? Three of Cups, friendship, celebration, hanging out, more than one choice or option, and something that needs to be left out in the cold, Five of Pentacles energy, in order to take a leap of faith to something new, the full card energy. So Scorpio, it looks like you have some options here. Why is the house card here? Why is the house card here? 
marriage and long-term commitment for wands energy and justice represents just choice just decision marriage divorce or a decision that needs to be made and it's like there's a logical energy behind it, King of Swords, which comes back to the King of Swords in your current. You're trying to be logical about things. Luck is turning in your favor. You're trying to gain knowledge and strength because you're trying to figure out uh, the best set for you passionately. And if you should take a leap of faith, but you're a bit confused and you're trying to see it from a new way and new perspective, and there's a, a bit of defeated energy about taking this new path when it comes to long-term commitment. It looks like you may have a lot of choices and options, but there is some improvement and change here. You're at a cross roads and you're trying to decide what you need to do you have to make a choice there what's that's your advice all right my beautiful scorpios i love you guys so much let me know in the comments below how this is going to play out for you guys this week um guys uh if you like this please like and subscribe and of course if you like a personal read with me go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below and I will be releasing monthlies, which will give more information about what's happening here. Uh, you know, because you'll get the, more of a, an overall base of what's going to happen for the rest of the month. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month. Uh, excuse me, your week. Love you guys.